how cool is this? A little piece of ancient history, just 20, 30 miles outside of Quartzsite in Ehrenberg, where thousands of snowbirds go. And I've never seen anybody cover this, at least no YouTubers. Ancient history. Welcome to the Blythe and Taglios. These are giant figures in the sand that um, I learned about and decided to come here and take a look. And they're giant figures made in the desert floor by ancient man. And I'm really excited about going to check it out. The name Intaglio, a specific type of geoglyph, is taken from printmaking process. A design is made by engraving or incising the surface, so the image is depressed in relief below the original surface. An intaglio is created in the desert pavement by scraping away the darker surface gravels to reveal the lighter gravels and soils underneath. Another method to make an intaglio is tamping. Designs or parts of figures, usually arms and legs, are made by pressing in the desert pavement probably after a rain when the underlying, underlying soil is softer. This leaves a depressed area. Tamped images can be very difficult to see and are best viewed in the early morning hours when the angle of light is low and the desert surface is not distorted by heat shimmers. Intaglios were created in the likeness of various shapes and figures. These include anthropomorphs, human-like, zoomorphs, animal-like, geometric shapes, and linear designs. Each shape had a specific meaning to the people that created it. People who created it, right? This is a human figure and it's oriented north and south with its head pointing towards the south. Its arms are outstretched and its feet point outward. It measures 105.6 feet from head to toe and the torso combined with the arm span are 91.8 feet wide. It has visible knees and elbows. Earlier drawings indicated fingers and toes and several lines coming out from the head. Could they represent strands of hair on top of the head? <laughs> That's kind of cool. And today these subtle parts of the figure are difficult to discern. They've worn away over time and as you can see around the edges, uh, these, w before they were protected, they were ruined a little bit by people driving over them and it's kind of sad to see that. So that's why they're protected with fences today. And uh, the figure is one, this human figure is one of the least disturbed of the group and there's three of them here. And they ask, could this be a figure of the creator? Or could it be an alien? I think it's an alien. Looks like an alien. Intaglios, that's what they're called. The Blythe Intaglios. They're a rare cultural resource of international significance. Similar ground figures exist in Peru, Chile, England, and Australia. However, this is the only region in the United States where there are geoglyphs. Although their exact age is unknown, these earth figures provide important insight into the early lifeways along the lower Colorado River landscape. They don't know how old they are. Wow. Let's go see the other one. One's kind of hard to see. Put the drone up, see what we can see. What a shot! It's beautiful here. Oh, oh yeah, another human figure. Look. Can you see it?
wonder. Gotta wonder why they did these. Just more art, I guess. Just a few big drawing. I mean, we do murals, right? Maybe this is ancient murals. was fun. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and checking out this really cool site near Blythe and Quartzsite as much as I did. How awesome was this? I mean, how many people come here and how many times have I been here and I um, had never been out here, so I'm glad I finally stopped. Hey, bud. We go for a ride? Oh, are you my co-pilot? Where are we going? heading north, leaving the desert. So stay tuned. There's more to come. And in the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. See you later.